Uh, did, did you, you communicate, communicate with, with my son also? Yes. I am actually uh, going to interview him after you. Oh, um, it's not at the same time. It's not at well, oh, okay. everybody has their own time. <laughs> um, I have to say that I'm, I'm more than thrilled. Uh, you are one of my favorite authors of all time. And I can honestly say I've been a book critic and I've read thousands of books. And uh, I always come back to your books. I, um, I even it almost enforce the people that I coach to read your books. Uh, I, I find they're profound. And uh, my dream is to, to master this art of living according to the Toltec agreements. So it is with uh, a lot of uh, humility and gratefulness that uh, I thank you for, uh, for taking the time to talk with me. And I have hours of questions, but I, I, will, sure. <laughs> I will try to, to do my best to at least this first time to not, of course, take too much of your time. Well, no, it's fine. Oh, yes. Thank you so much. Well, my first, um, my, the first thing I would ask you is perhaps to introduce yourself to people that maybe do not know yet who you are, do not have no. that privilege, that, uh, that, that amazing opportunity, uh, because as you know, this will also be translated to the French population. And no. uh, yes, because we have something in common, you and I, we, we have uh, books from the same uh, edi uh, editor and publisher in France. In France, so, yeah. Yes. So, uh, so I'm doing this both in English and French uh, oh. to reach as many people as possible. Uh, oh, that's so, so if someone doesn't know who you are, how would you s describe yourself to them? Okay, well, uh, I'm an artist like everybody else, like several billion people on this planet. And as an artist, I always create. I create all the time, just like everybody else. But I'm completely aware of my creation because every single thing that I do in life is creation. Then my whole life is about creating uh, and sharing what I create. In that case, it's messages. It's about what I think, my philosophy, etc. Then <clears throat> I became a medical doctor. I've been a surgeon for a long time. And, and finally, by the end of the uh, middle of the 80s, last century, I decided not to practice medicine anymore. And I focused my attention into understanding how the human mind works. Then I became a shaman for around 10 years. I follow my uh, family tradition, which is uh, what we call the Toltec knowledge. And by the way, Toltec means artist. Then when I talk about artists, I talk, uh, I'm talking about Toltec also. Then after 10 years of practicing with a lot of people, I travel so, in so many places, the result was uh, all the books that I wrote. And mainly the, the first one, the, the, which is the Four Agreements. That is a book that has been translated into the six different languages. And it was in the New York Times bestseller for more than seven years. And well, and all my books have already been translated in all those different languages. Then I am traveling all around the world and 2002, I had a major heart attack. I was nine weeks in coma. Wow. I had greatest experience during the, the heart attack and the coma. And after I came back from the coma, uh, my doctors told me that I only live with the 16% of my heart capacity. Wow. And that I couldn't live more than one year, maybe if I'm lucky, two years. And it passed eight and a half years and I didn't die. Then I decided to have a heart transplant, wow. and I had a heart and I had a heart transplant in October 9, 2010. Wow, that's fabulous! <laughs> then after six months, when I recover, and the doctors tell me that I can start doing my work, I start traveling in 